Hi everyone on Verbling. It's Lauren here, your new Verbling teacher. This is my second class and I am excited to teach everyone today. Um, so our topic for today is going to be um, what kind of effect plastic is having on the environment. It's Lauren here, your new Verbling teacher. This is my second class. And I am excited to... Keep I'm just trying to figure some things out. Um, so our topic for today is going to be um, what kind of effect plastic is having on the environment. Excuse me, I'm just... Are one of you... Um... I'm just trying to figure some things out. Okay, so I think some of you might have your volume on and you have to be wearing headphones because when you speak into, uh, sorry, when I'm speaking and it goes on your computer and you can hear it, we can all hear it. So make sure you're wearing your headphones. Make sure your headphones are plugged in. Okay. Is that Zotair? Zotair? Hello. Hi. Um, I think you're breathing Hello. into your microphone. Zot Zotair, Judith? Judith? It's me. Hi. Hi. Can you please move your microphone a little further away from your mouth? Thank you. Just because we can hear you breathing a little bit. Hi, Jay. Jacob? Uh, Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, I think that either your volume is up too high or you have some background sound. If you could please uh, just... Yeah. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. Yeah. That's better? Um, there's still a lot of sound coming from you. I don't know why. Is there noise where you are? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Okay, I might uh, have to mute you if it, if it becomes a problem, okay? I might have to mute you if it becomes a problem, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's Hello. having a good night. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm going to go through. <laughs> I'm going to go through everyone right now. And um, I just want to know what your name is. Where you are from, and um, sorry, Anna. Hello, Anna. Hi. I think you're breathing into your microphone because it's very uh, loud from you. If you could maybe move your um, microphone away. Okay. It's better now. Um, maybe in my sister. Bit. She is on TV, so sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to mute you then. Is that okay? Just it's a little distracting. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a little better. That's good. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'd like to go through everyone. And um, is anyone first new to Verbling? Is anyone's first time to Verbling? Me? First time. You? Okay. First time. First time for you as well, Haji Jacob? Yeah. Yes, it's first cool time for me. Good. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, Anna. If you could just turn that TV off, or wh whoever has a TV yeah. going in the background. Okay. No, one minute. You can't One minute. I will move. Okay. My... Thank you. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Um. Okay. So let's start with Alan. Alan, maybe you can tell us. What your name? Wait, sorry, where are you from? And sorry, one second. So maybe you can tell us where you're from and what you like to do in a reading class. So would you like better to just read the whole class, or do you like stopping and having the teacher explain things to you? What is the best kind of reading class, Alan? Okay, hi, hi. Um, so I'm Alan. Uh, I'm originally from France, and I'm living in the UK. Um, glad to hear that it's your second class in Verbling. <laughs> Thank so you. Um, 
And what I like to do um, in reading class is um, maybe stop, stop, uh, not not read a, a lot of text in once, so that we can understand what maybe rephrase it and understand what uh, each uh, uh, paragraph means. Right. So it's good when the teacher t rephrases it to you, or when you try to rephrase yes. it. Uh, well, I think both is great. When you ask maybe the, the student to rephrase it its own way and maybe then correct it if he didn't get it wrong, right. Right, right. I agree. Thank you very much for that. This is my nice. first, uh, actually my second reading class, but I really appreciate that. Cool. Um, okay, Anna. Anna, maybe you can tell us what you think is going to be the best way to have a good reading class and where are you from? Anna? Anna? Hello. Oh, hi. Sorry. I That's will okay. move off. Where are you okay. from, Anna? I'm from Brazil. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And this um, is your first verbling class? Yes. It's my first verbling class. I'm, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's okay. It's your first time, so let me know at the end of class what you think would make the class better, just because it's your first time. Okay. 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 Uh, Andre, how are you? Hi, and you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, Where are you from? Uh, Brazil, too. Great. Okay, got some Brazilians yeah. here. Uh, I live in I live in São Paulo city. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm 32 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Alan from other class too. Oh, cool. Gotcha. Yes. And what do you think makes a really good reading class? Do you like reading all the way through the class, or is it better when the teacher stops and gets you to uh, understand more? I, I appreciate it when the teacher gave us a paragraph and the, after the teacher discussed about it, about it. Right. So do the whole paragraph, and then after, the teacher can help summarize or explain. Yes. yes. Great. And let's go to Haje. Hi, Haje. Hi. How are you all? I am good. Uh, I, my name is Haj. I am from uh, Algeria. It's in North Africa. And it's uh, the first time for me. And uh, I like reading so much. Good, good, good. So hopefully you enjoy this class then. This is your first time okay. on Verbling? Yes, this is the first time for me. Good, great, great. Thank you. Hi, Lalo. Hi. Hi. Can you listen to me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm from Mexico. Uh, it's not my first time in Berlin, but it's my first class with you. Good, good. Well, it's only my okay. second class ever on Verbling, okay. so you can tell me how I did after. Send me comments. Okay. Great. Um, and what do you think makes a really good reading class? Uh, I I agree with um, Andre. You can we can read a text and then we can discuss discuss it. Um, you you can um, advise to improve our reading or text comprehension 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 comprehension. Yes, great, great, good. And Mam Mahmoud. Yes. Hi, Hello. how are you? Can can you hear me? We can hear you, but we we can't okay. see you. But okay, that's okay. Exactly. My name is Mahmoud Hassan. Uh, this is the first one uh, in uh, in uh, uh, Verbium. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all. That's okay. That's great. That's great. Glad to have newcomers. And Tan. Hello, Tan. how are you? I really like your profile picture. Thank you. That's very cute. Is that your daughter? No, she's my niece. Oh, your niece. Oh, I'm nice. I'm 18 years old. You're 18 years old. And yes. is this your first verbling class? Um, I can't count. It's too much. Too many. <laughs> it's good. Too many. That's good. Great. <laughs> 
So if I have any technical difficulties, you can help me, right? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tan. Um, and what makes a really good reading class? What was a favorite reading class you ever had? Um, I agree with Alan. Like, after reading each paragraph or couple of sentences, the teacher asks the student about the, what they have reading have been reading and ask them if they have any question about the text or vocabulary in those paragraph right. explain it good I agree okay that's good okay and let's go to Vincente hi Vincente again hi Vincente Vincente? Hello, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I saw you yesterday. How was your day? Fine. No, 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 no. Oh. Um. Sorry, we're just hearing some background noise. Okay, so Vincente, where are you from again? Hello. Uh, sorry for the background. I'm from Brazil. You're from Brazil. Okay. And what is the best reading class you ever had? What's a good way for me to do reading classes today? Oh, I prefer to read the whole paragraph and be correct. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Vincente. And now moving on to is it Zotere? It's Judith. Oh, you did. You did. Nice Family. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is my second time on Verb Link. Great. But my first English class. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> and have you done a reading class before? No, never. Okay, well, you can send me some comments after and tell me how this was, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So, we have a lot of beginners, so I'm going to kind of try to walk you through this. So, I'm going to press my screen share button, and so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? Can you see? Can you see my screen? We're seeing you. You're seeing me? And Hi. only you. Only you. No, only you. <laughs> okay. I don't know why my screen share isn't working. Okay. It's okay, no problem. That's okay. I guess we don't need it. But turn to your to your left. Uh, click on Google Drive. And if you don't have Google Drive, I am going to uh, go to the beginning of our t of our chat for today. And you'll see I posted the link right there. And today we're looking at March fourteenth, plastic oceans. If you're having trouble finding that link, oh, Tan, did you already put, paste it there for me? Oh, thank you, Tan. Yeah. Okay, is everyone there? Yes. So we're going to click on plastic oceans and select. I, I see button on another. Um, um, I see, but not here, in another window. In, a, in another window? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's no problem. Okay. Thank you. Mine is just loading, but... Let me know if anyone has any trouble getting to it. So, can everyone see that blue picture? Yeah. Yes? Okay. For some reason, I can't see all of your... Oh, there you are. Okay, so everyone's good. Does anybody have a problem? You can put it in the chat on the right, okay? The verbling chat. Okay. Um, okay, so the topic that we're talking about today is how um, a very important issue with the environment. So the environment is just the world around us. And see that thing in the water? That is just a pile of 
of garbage and plastic that has just accumulated. Accumulated. I just put that word in the chat. So accumulated means um, builds up. Or something has built up and all of these pieces of plastic have just been uh, getting together in the ocean. The second picture is the same problem. And you can see how big they are. And if you look at the third picture, you can see that a lot of wildlife, so wildlife just means animals, um, are dying from eating these pieces of plastic. So people are throwing things into the ocean and um, garbage and things like that, just waste, things that don't belong in the water. And then the birds, they don't, they can't tell, little animals, they can't tell whether something is food or something is plastic or toxic. Toxic? Yeah. Um, can, is something people can't eat. Something animals can't eat. So, anyways, um, who would like to, is it okay if I go through, I'm just going to go through from the first person and we'll get all the way over. So, Alan, is it Ale? Yes, well done. Ale? Nice presentation. Ale? Uh, you can go first. So, why don't you start um, from the first paragraph there? Yeah. So, plastic debris reaches southern ocean previously thought to be pris pristine. The first trace of plastic debris have been found in what was thought to be the pristine environment of the Southern Ocean, according to a study released in London by the French scientific research vessel Tara. You can continue because that was a short paragraph. Okay. The finding comes following a two and a half year, 70,000 miles voyage by the schooner across the Atlantic, Pacific, Antarctic, and Indian Ocean to investigate marine uh, ecosystem and biodiversity under climate change. Okay, so I'm just going to go through a little bit of pronunciation. Um, I saw you got a really, really good reading skill, so great job, Alain. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. So, you know when you said, can you see when I highlight something like that? Uh, I I'm not reading on your screen, but... Uh, okay, that's fine. So you wrote 70,000 mile, um, but you said 70,000. So that, oh, that yeah. sound, the TH, um, you, you just have to stick your, your tongue out of your mouth almost when you say that. So it has to be past your two teeth. So okay. 70,000. Here, I'll show you. 70,000. Yeah, perfect. Good, good. So that's just something to, to work on for your, for your accent. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, geez. I'm just. Mine is just reloading again. One second. Which words did you not understand, Alain? Um. I tried to underline. Oh yeah, seventy thousand miles voyage. Is it voyage? Voyage. Voyage by the schooner. What's a schooner? So a schooner. Um, great pronunciation, though. If you didn't know it, <laughs> I thought you would have encountered that word. So. Um, for those of you who are reading along, if you see that word, you don't pronounce it uh, with the CH sound like CH, you pronounce it like a K, so schooner. A schooner is just a kind of ship, a kind of boat, a really big one, okay. um, across the Atlantic, Pacific, Antarctic, and Indian Oceans. Um, that You said ecosystems, it's eco, ecosystems. 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 Ecosystems, yep, and biodiversity. Biodiversity. Yep, great. Um, and also for your climate, um, you're kind of doing it the French way, cli climate, but it's climate, climate. Oh, climate. Yep, perfect. Climate change, okay. Perfect. So what's going on in this first little paragraph here, where it says the first traces of plastic debris? What does debris mean? Does anyone know? Trash. Uh, trash, yep. Who said trash? You did. Anna? Oh, you did. So, you did. Uh, debris means uh, things that have um, 
just floated along. So it could be trash, it could be things that uh, fell off of ships, it could be absolutely anything that has uh, just become debris. So it is a good way to say that it's just trash. So, um, Alain, can you try to summarize what you read just there? Um, they are basically saying that um, a French scientific uh, find out uh, the first trace trace of a pristine. Oh, um, Alain, one uh, science. It's called a French scientist. Scientist. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, that French scientists find out. Uh, uh, so he made a study basically, and he finds some trace of plastic debris. Mm -hmm. um, what is his mission? What does he want to do? Um. So it says, the finding comes following a two and a half year, 70 mile voyage by this big boat. So if it's saying a finding, a finding means what they found out information wise. Okay. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. So, yes, but everything else you said is exactly right. So basically what's going on is just explaining that they took this boat for a two and a half year, um, I guess, little adventure into these ecosystems, which means they went into these different oceans to see how this trash or this garbage was affecting the wildlife. That's what ecosystems means. Okay, who wants to go next? Let's say Anna. Okay, I can. We had always assumed that this was a pr pristine. I don't know. Pristine. Pristine. Pristine, pristine means um, that it was perfect before. That it was never ever ruined. It was just perfect. Okay. okay. Pristine environment. Very little touched. Touched by human begin beings. Means my God. Uh, so never so that. No, please don't say that. You're doing great. <laughs> um, it's it's really important that you're trying, and this is an advanced class. So um, good job. Um, so I'm really nervous. Are you? Don't worry. I'll just give you this short part because I want you to get the experience of reading. So don't worry too much. Okay. Say said, Chris Brawler. Scientist coordinator of Tar Oceans. Good. The, f the fact that we found these plastics is a sign that the research of women begin beings mm -hmm. is truly planetary in scale. Scale. So you, uh, you had a hard paragraph there. <laughs> so don't worry. Sorry. No, 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 no. I mean, the one that you had to read was difficult to read. Okay. Um, okay. So basically, um, what that paragraph is saying, it's saying, we had always assumed, and to assume means to think without having any proof. So if somebody assumes that you're a nice person because you look like you're nice, they're just thinking that you're nice. They're assuming you're nice, even though they don't know you. Does that make sense? So... so, so. <laughs> Um, for those of you who yes. have a bit of background noise, if you could try to uh, get that background noise a little, a little lower. <laughs> Andre, were you saying something? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, we had always assumed that, and that that name, Anna, is Chris Bowler. Try saying Chris. that. Chris Bowler. Kurt, I, I so, tried to see the hair here. So. Uh, if I highlight that, do you see that? Pris where? Uh, so where it says, um, very little touched by human beings, the second line. Oh, okay. So try making that sound for me. Start from very little touched. Very little touched. <laughs> I know. Yep, that's perfect. By human. By, by human. Perfect. 
beings. Beings. Like that beings. So, good. Mm. so human beings means people. Mm. Human is the species name for people like us, right? So we're not animals, we mm. are humans. And beings. Um, human beings. So you know to be, right? To be means that if I... Uh, yeah. to be, oh, to be, okay. Right? So being a human. So for these people who are human beings. So it's saying we thought that the ocean ecosystems, the ocean animals, all of this place was not not touched by humans, by people. Right? And they were right. and they were very uh, concerned because see the last uh, the second last line it says the fact that we found these plastics is a sign that the reach of humans, human beings, is truly planetary. So, Anna, do you know the word planet? Yeah. So, what do you think that means? Planetary in scale. Planetary in the planet's scale, like in in Earth. I don't know. Yep. Exactly. So it's basically saying that they realize that the plastics and plastics is just another um, it's it's a it's trash right it's not um, you know like garbage basically so they're saying this problem is not just a problem in some areas it is affecting the whole earth right okay okay um, Andre would you like to start reading for us at samples taken? Yes, sure. Okay, so uh, I think it's a fourth paragraph there. Samples taken. Okay. Samples taken from, fa uh, from four different stations at locations in the Southern Ocean and the Antarctica re uh, revealed traces of plastic at a measure of approximately 50,000 fragments per square kilometer uh, a rate comparable to the global average uh, wild traces of plastic. Andre, um, I just want to make a little suggestion to you. When you read and you see that it's at the end of a sentence, try to make your voice go down. So make your voice go lower. So, for example, um, per square kilometer, a rate comparable to the global average. See how I went down there with my voice? Instead okay. of going up, um, so instead of saying at a rate comparable to the global average, we say it when it's a period at the end, when it's just um, one sentence that it's not a question mark, we always go down with our voices when we're ah, reading okay. out loud. Okay? Okay, okay. If it's a question mark, then you go up, and if it's a period, you go down. Ah, okay. So uh, uh, you can start again. Uh, sorry, you can uh, continue at wild traces. Uh, wild traces of plastic pollutants are customary in many of the world's oceans, with the highest levels found in the North Atlantic and the North Sea. Uh, research had anticipated rates in the Southern Ocean to become uh, to be some ten times lower than the global average. Good, good. Um, so, do you have any questions about some words in that one? First, Andre, average. Average. An average means um, if you have, for example, I have ten apples, <laughs> and you have two apples. No, let's say I have four apples, and you have two apples. The average would be three apples, because if we put all of them together even though you have less and I have more, the average is three. Does that make kind of sense? Yeah, like middle or not? Uh, did, did you say medium? Middle, middle. Middle, yeah, exactly. So let's say this country has this much pollutants and this country has this much pollutants. The average is right here in the middle, right? Okay. Okay. Teacher? Yeah. Um, is it why traces of plastic pollutants are customary? What's customary? 
are customary. Thank you for the question, Tan. Customary means that, um, do you know what a custom is? A custom? Mm. It is something that is common. So it says, well, so it's saying traces of plastic pollutants, so things that pollute the water, bad things in the water, are common, so they are customary. Um, mm. So customary means, yes, we see this all the time, but the highest levels are found in North Atlantic and North Sea, right? So yes. it's so customary just means it's very common, right? Tan, where are you from again? I'm from Vietnam. You're from Vietnam. So if you think of the word, you have different customs as somebody from, let's say, um, Japan. Different customs. So things that are common, things that you do on a regular basis. So it's just saying that um, we know that there is plastic everywhere. Any other questions? Thank no, you very much. Know. You're welcome. Um, Andre, what about you? Do you know what fragments mean? Yes, uh, kind of uh, residues. 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 Great, good, good. Um, and I was going to say, can you read this word here? Um, can you see me highlighting it? Uh, after off? Uh, no, no, here, I'm going to put it in the chat. Can you see that in the chat? Yes. Can you read that for me? Uh, yes, pollutants. Okay, so when you see an S at the end like that, it's just uh, pollutants. Pollutants. Yeah, perfect. So okay. for, in English, um, I'm sorry, Anne, I got to mute you. There's a lot of background noise. I don't know why. Um, but anyways, so Andre, when you see that, it's just, uh, when we speak in English, we just kind of let them go together. The T and the S go together. So pollutants. Pollutants. Good, good. Okay. Um, same, what about this one? Stations. Okay, good. So that one's good. Um, Plastic. Okay, good. So we're good. Great. Um, and as for, see this word bolded at the second last line, it says, they had anticipated. See, does everyone kind of see that? If so, you can nod your head a little. <laughs> okay, yes. good. That means when we use a tense like that, so it says, this is a very long sentence, but I'm just going to read it out again. So while traces, while traces of plastic pollutants are customary in many of the world's oceans, with the highest levels found in North Atlantic and North Sea, researchers had anticipated that the rates of the Southern Ocean to be some 10 times lower than the global average. But they just told us that it's much higher than the global average. So when they say had, that means something happened in the past that isn't true anymore. Okay, so something happened, they had made this prediction in the past. They had made the prediction, but now they're finding out something different. Okay. Okay, and now let's move on to... Um, I can't, for some reason I can't see your names right now. Okay, Armando. Hi, Armando. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm doing good. Good, thank you for joining the class. So you can read this next paragraph. Okay. So you can start at discovering plastic. Okay. Uh, discovering plastic at these very high levels was completely unexpected because the Southern Ocean is relatively separated from the world. Other oceans and um, does not normally mix with them. Bower screen. Bowler explained. Oh. Oh, okay, he's gone. That's okay. Hodge, maybe you can go. Hodge, can you go and read at sorry, can you read at discovering right. plastic? From first? 
So yeah, you can start reading at Discovering Plastic. Discovering Plastic at these very high levels was, comp was completely expected because the Southern uh, Ocean is uh, relatively mm -hmm. uh, spaced from the world's other oceans. And Sep does not Sep sorry, separated. 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 Good. Separated from the world's other oceans and does not normally mix it with them. Uh, Bowler, Bowler explained mm -hmm. uh, before uh, Yovlin uh, Un trusts. Unveiling, unveiling. Un unveiling trusts mm -hmm. finding at uh, an event at the session. Science, science. Science Museum mm -hmm. in London uh, on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. In Wednesday, uh, the, micro the microscope fragments invisible unit accumulated uh, in traveling nets are the result of uh, wasted products such as plastic bags and uh, pot bottles. Uh, dragged over years of uh, discuss, discuss by UV light and seawater Tura uh, researchers whose work has uh, recently hailed by the UN uh, Secretary General Ben Ki Moon uh, were also uh, surprised to find that synthetic Favors largely. Largely, um, and you can. And there's just two more lines on the next page. Okay, Anna. Um, I don't know what's going on, but you're getting a lot of background noise. I have to keep muting you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Hodge. So, I just want you. Can you see the chat? The verbling chat. Hodge, can you see the verbling chat? No, I can't. I can't find it. No? Okay. Um, yeah. Well, can you read... Yeah. Um, can, sorry, you can't okay. see the verbling chat on the right? No, it's... I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's all blue. It's, yeah. Uh, I can't oh, it's see all it. blue. You can't see it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to read... Um, try saying the, that word. See on the fifth line down. See... Uh, Say fifth the words, line. fifth line, and read the word that is underlined. You mean microscope? The Mi microscope. Micro microscope. Microscopic. Microscopic. Good. Microscopic. Perfectly. Micro Thanks. Good. And can you read the next underlined one? The one that starts with an A. Accumulated. Good, good, good. Um, okay, there was one more that I wanted you to say. When you see, um, look at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, seventh line down, seventh line down, yeah. and the second word in that starts with the W. Can you say that one? Starts with W. Yeah. In, in the next page. Nope, same page, same page. So, W-A-S-T-E. Okay, just a minute, please. W. Mm -hmm. is, is it is the word lined? Uh, um, hose. Hose. So that is waste. Waste. So yeah, when you see a W at the beginning of the word, it's waste. Yeah. Wa waste. Waste. Yep. Say it one more time. Waste. waste. Good. Good. Great. Okay, so Hajj, do you have an idea of what might be going on in that uh, paragraph? I mean, it's a little bit... Uh, the words are, most of them are the new for me because they are, I think, technical or something. Yes. Uh, I think they found something in the oceans and the, the museum, the science museum in London, uh, I think, find something in this uh, water, seawater. Yes, that, that is very true. So even though you didn't understand a lot of the words, you're still doing well trying to understand the paragraph anyways, which Thank is really you. good.
Thank you. Um, so basically what it's saying is um, it says the microscopic fragments. That means you can only see the fragments, which are the pieces, using a microscope, which means that they're very bad for, um, like they're, they're breaking down to such a small, um, to such tiny little pieces that we could never be able to collect them again. Yes. Um, but okay, let's move on to Lalo. Lalo, can you please start reading at identifying? Okay. Uh, identify the region of source of such general waste, which has made it, it way to southern ocean over some half a century, remains more problematic. However, it's believed to originate from Africa, South America, or Australia. Okay, can you say this word? Can you see in the chat there? Yes. Can you say that out loud? Originate. Yes, good, good. Um, originate. Um, and say... Regional or regional? Regional. 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 Good. A region regional. Is, a, is an area. Yes. So they're, they're trying to find in this paragraph, where is this waste coming from? And a century, you said uh, you were reading that over some half of a century remains, uh, sorry, that this finding the region where all this waste and, and garbage and plastic is coming from is um, that has been accumulating, so that has been building up for a whole half century. So how many years is a half century? Uh, 50. Exactly. Perfect. So, however, it is believed to originate from Africa. So, originate means that the first place it came from was would have been Africa, South America, or Australia. But they don't know where all this plastic is coming from. Okay, and Tan. Hi, Tan. Hello. Hi, Tan. So, maybe you can start reading from um, the, fa the fatal impact. Okay. The fatal impact of plastic pollutants on the marine environment has been widely observed. As birds and fish regularly consume waste products, which can be easily mistaken for jellyfish or other prey, but cannot be degraded in the storage. Plastic also slowly, slowly release toxin and other chemical substances that work their way up the marine food chain. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm just writing down some words that I want you to repeat. So, firstly, uh, Tan, do you have any questions about what that meant? Do you have any? Do you, do you kind of have an idea of what that paragraph was trying to say? Yes. Okay. What do you think it was trying to say? Um. Say how the bird and fish that live in the oceans consuming these plastic, which um, was is toxic. So that is exactly right, exactly. And can you just repeat these two words for me that I put in the chat just now? Fish. Perfect. And stomach. So that is, do you know what a stomach is? It's a stomach. Stomach, yeah. Stomach, and that, that is your belly, your stomach, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, moving on to Vincente. Vincente. Vincente, can you read? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, you can. Okay, good. Sorry, my, my computer froze for a second there. Yes. Vincente, oh, it's uh, your turn. Vin Vincente, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, why don't you start reading at It's Too Late. Okay. Um, Vincente, I can't. I can hear a lot of background noise. What is it? 
Okay, start at it's too late to do. It's too late to do much. So I'll tell you which uh, it's on the second page. It's on the second page. So start it. It's too late. And speak very clearly because um, we can kind of hear something in the background there. Okay. Uh, it's too late to do much about what already on at this stage. As this stuff is going to hang around Sorry, Vincente, I can't, Vincente, I'm, I'm going to have to mute you because I can't hear anything you're saying because uh, there's a lot of talking in the background. I'm sorry. Is that okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, um, let's go with, um, you did. Okay. Your turn. So why don't you start at it's too late and go all the way to uh, the end there before Article Two, and then we'll get Wolfgang or Wolfgang to do uh, start us off in the next article. I know we won't have time to finish it, but that's okay. Okay. So you did. It's too late to do much about what's already out there at this stage, as this stuff is going to hang around for thousands of years," said Bowler. However, he says, the best way to mitigate future pollution is to advocate the use of biodegradable technologies by emphasizing a shift in consumer practices. Tara will continue its marine research activities in 2013 with a groundbreaking mission to the Arctic Circle to investigate the ocean environment following the melting of Arctic ice as a result of climate change. Great. Oh, Vincente, don't worry. That's okay. As long as you don't mind just listening. Just next time, try to get in a place that's quiet so we can hear you read. <laughs> sorry, Vincente just said he's sorry about the background noise, everyone. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Aw, that's nice, Andre. <laughs> okay, so uh, you did. Great um, pronunciation, really, really good. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Um, one thing is that uh, sometimes you go up at the end of sentences, and I know in lots of uh, languages, not, I'm uh, sorry, lots of languages other than English, you go up at the end of a sentence, but I want you to go down at the end, even sometimes when you come to a comma. So it's too late to do much about what's already out there at this stage as this bluff is going to hang around us for thousands of years, said Bowler. So it's okay. interesting because sometimes when they put commas, it's like an add-on to the sentence sometimes. So you want to emphasize the first part and then just make sure you're going down it because sometimes it sounds like you're asking a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, that's my only suggestion. What about what's going on in those two paragraphs? Hmm. <laughs> Well, I don't know what mitigate means. Mitigate. Does anyone know what mitigate means? To reduce. Did someone say to reduce? Yes. Yes? Okay, uh, it wasn't to reduce. Hi, Wolfgang. It wasn't to reduce, but when it miti so let me just find it. However, he says the best way to mitigate future pollution is to advocate. Mitigate means more to try to balance it or to try to manage something. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, I could be mitigating a classroom, right? So it's, it's not always about reducing. It's about trying to um, make something work better or make something um, organize. A, in this sense, it means to organize change. Mm -hmm. So they want the people to change their way of life or something like mm -hmm. that. Yep, and biodegradable, not to pollute the environment. Larry. Yes. Can be yes. Uh, attenuated too. Can be. So can you say that one more time, Andre? Uh, attenuated. Accent. Uh, sorry, I don't know. The, uh, say that one more time. Attenu uh, attenuated. 
at 10. Are you reading? I, I, I wrote the chat. Oh, chat box. can be attenuate. I don't know what that word means. Um, is that an English word? Attenuate. Yes, uh, like uh, mitigated. To attenuate. Hmm. I don't know. I got to be honest because I don't know that word. You have taught me something today. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, no, but you've got the right idea, Judith. That's very. That's exactly. And they're saying bio use biodegradable technologies. So biodegradable means it can degrade or it can break down in the environment. So um, it when bio means anything that is natural or anything that has to do that's natural with the body or the animal animal bodies. So if it's degradable, it means that when it breaks down, it won't become harmful plastic. It will it will become things that don't harm the environment. So that's it. They're asking people to change their ways of life of life. Okay. okay and uh, is it Wolfgang or Wolfgang? Uh, either one. Either one's okay. Uh huh. Okay, good. And where are you from, Wolfgang? I'm from China. From China, great. So um, we don't have time to do the whole next article, but maybe you can read us the title of Article Two. Are you are you looking at that right now? Yes. Great. You can read the title of Article Two, and then um, um, start reading the first paragraph there. Okay. Um, newly discovered plastic land shows global epidemic worsening. Floating patches of humanity's garbage have become a permanent feature in the world's oceans, and a new discovery in the South Pacific shows that this wonderful trend has worsened, not improved, since the phenomenon was first discovered nearly two decades ago. Good. Next paragraph. Keep going. Um, as, as new research by the Phi Gyrus Institute shows the ex existence of a new plastic land island has been found swirling with junk in ocean currents running near eastern uh, Easter Island in the South Pacific, marking the first documented garbage patch in South Southern Hemisphere. Great, great. So your pronunciation is really good too. Good job. Um, I just want you to repeat a couple words for me. Can you see those? Woeful. Woeful. That's good. Woeful. Woeful. And what do you think that means? Uh, some, um, it's like s sad. Yes. Uh, some, yeah. So exactly. Something that's kind of sad. This woeful trend. What's a trend? It's the, um, the way it's going. The right. fashion. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, basically, what's going on here is uh, these this trend, this trend of pollution, is worsening in our oceans. Um, can you also repeat that next word there, the second one? Gyrus. Uh, so that is gyres. Gyrus. Okay. Gyrus, not gyrus, but gyre. Gyrus. Gyrus. Good. Good. And um, I think you got this one, but I just want to get you to repeat it anyways. Newly. Newly. Okay, good. Good. Great. And what's, um, what is going on in that second paragraph? What is the Five Geyers Institute? Um, it, it's, um, maybe it's a company's name. Uh, they're saying that they found another plastic island. Mm-hmm. Um, in the south southern hemisphere. Mhm. Mm yep, which is really a big problem, isn't uh, it? Yeah. Um. Okay. Great. Does anybody want a second chance reading? Did anybody not get a long chance, or does anyone want? Oh, Ahmet. Ahmet, would you like a chance reading? Ahmet. Hi, Ahmet. Hi. Would you like to read? Read what? Um, you can read. Um, are you on Google Drive right now? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. That's okay. If um, we don't have a lot of time left in the class, or else I would walk you through the steps. Um, but next time, ask your verbling teacher, and we'll walk you through how to access Google Drive. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, 
Okay, so would anyone like another chance reading? We have just a couple more minutes. Yes? Okay, Lalo and then Andre. So Lalo, you can start at the new study. Okay, the new study published in the journal Marine Pollution Bulletin documents the first evidence of a deep oceanic garbage patch, an accumulation zone of plastic pollution floating in the area designated as the South Passive Subtropical Hire. One second, give me one second. Can you first uh, just repeat a couple words for me? Can you see those? Yes. Okay, say the first one for me. Defined. Good, next one. Designed. So that is designated. 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 Yep, and you see how it's spelled? It sounds exactly how it's spelled. Um, so designated. Designated. And what is gyre? Uh, when you run a circle. Um, you know, that's funny that you said that. Uh, in this context, it is when the water is whirling. So they are looking at a gyre, which is a huge area of a certain gyre, the South Pacific the South Pacific Subtropical Gyre. Okay. okay, and can you say that last word there for me? Yes, um, published. Published, okay, good, good. Okay, and I, um, Andre, Andre, uh, you can start reading at conducting. Yes, uh, conducting the first ever sampling of the Sarfini Gyre, the research team led by five wow. Jarvis in Institute Executive Director Dr. Marcus uh, Erickson recorded, what? recorded mm -hmm. increased density of plastic pollution with uh, an, an uh, average of 26,898 particles per square oh, kilometer oh, and a high of 3,096. 342 kilometers square in the center of the predicted accumulation zone based on the ocean current models. Okay, great. Andre, I'm sorry about that background noise. I just um, muted. Um, no, no problem. Okay. okay, can you say this one again? This one is a hard word. Gyre. 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 Geyer. Good, good. Um, okay, I wish I could go over more of this with you. Wow, um, you are so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I have to say goodbye to you all right now because I have another class starting in a couple minutes. But oh. please check out my Facebook page. It's Lauren Verbling. Or you can check out my, um, my link on, the, on our page. So right now I'm doing a beginner course where you can learn how to order breakfast. Okay? Oh, it's a good idea. I know, I know. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Really nice to Bye. meet you. Bye. 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 Bye.